Alright, what's up everybody? In this episode, we'll be going over the latest Tesla software update 2021.44.5 and it's got some crazy new features. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first new feature is driver door unlock mode. How this works is when you walk up to your vehicle with the key, it will unlock the driver's door only. To enable such features, tap controls, locks, driver door unlock mode. So some other cars have this feature and generally I'm not really a big fan of it, but some people might find it useful. Now the second new feature is updates to the driver profiles. Each driver profile will now have its own individual work and home address. To update, select your profile, tap navigation, and long press either work or home. This is a great feature, so that way the different drivers can save their own locations. The third new feature is Vehicle Sync Beta. I've mentioned this in my previous video that it's possible this feature will be coming. Driver profile settings such as seat, mirror, and steering wheel positions can now synchronize across supported vehicles owned by the same Tesla account. To enable for a particular profile, tap the profile icon from the status bar, driver profile settings, and vehicle sync beta. This is great, so that way you don't have to keep on setting up your driver profile for every Tesla you have. The fourth new feature brings some updates to the refreshed Model S and X, and that's the rear cabin climate. You can now adjust the rear cabin climate using the central touchscreen. This is a pretty good feature, so that way in case the rear passengers don't know how to operate the rear display, you can simply do it for them. Now auto park. Auto park now identifies perpendicular parking spots using painted markings and road edges. This is great so that way it doesn't always have to be between two vehicles. Now rear seatbelt reminder. This is only available in China currently. Due to local safety regulations, your car's rear seatbelt reminder is enabled. If the seat has a child seat, tap the seat to mute the reminder for the rest of your trip. This is great so that way everybody in the vehicle stays safe. And that's the biggest reason why you should get a Tesla. And the final feature is seat and steering column calibration. You can now calibrate your seat and steering column if you're having any issues adjusting them. To calibrate your seat and steering column, you can go to controls, service, and tap seat calibration. So this is great if you're having issues adjusting your steering wheel or the seat. So that's it guys. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite feature is of this new software update. My favorite feature, I think, is the navigation and home address sync with the driver profiles. But anyways guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Thanks for watching this episode. Hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on the bell so you don't miss out on any new post. Post a comment down below and catch you in the next one.